welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be walking you through the process of how i created this um product manipulation right here in pixel lab so with that being said guys let's get started so i'm going to disable this main um design here real quick let me just disable this so if you're getting access to um everything that is here as a PLP file so you're getting access to that so this one i think this will just be here there's no need for you to the size is there in the PLP file so there's no need for you to undo anything so this is it hold on let me disable this layer so for this you just all you need to do is to resize it and it's not it's not um this is this is the way it is actually so then okay sorry about that i shall just check the size first okay 184 77 the size is just do well to increase it okay yes 187 okay this size is i think i've gone too much okay no still okay all right let me just increase it a bit yes this is it so you can see okay this is the um, the original the original um yes this is how it to be the original image is actually in this order this sun set area is in the order in the right um position so all you need to do is set, click on that image go straight rotate and go to the y axis and move it all the way to 180 so once you have moved it all the way, all the way to 180 let me position it to the back 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 so, so i can see um this so your next cafe um, product is actually locked so you just let the sun area be touching this um the almost um the, this head um area for this um next cafe product so just allow it to be like that okay this is okay and i'll just okay let me see if i've logged the layer so the next one is this is this okay so next so now you can see um i think this i'll leave this here as well for you guys but in just in case of next time this is what i did real quick all right let me just show you guys how i did this i'm not going to leave it there for you guys let me just show you guys how you can do this all right okay yes this is how you get it this is how you get it so i can just so this is it i just move this all the way down then position to the back move this all the way down okay it's at the front of this image it's at the front of this image so put it here so yeah okay at, let this the this down area be touching be showing let's just be showing so and i since it was not aligned i had to like rotate it by using the um x and i position to 48 so i'll just move this up to 48 48 49 40, 48 yes 48 so now you can see it is here if you're okay with this you want to move to the top end of the two but i'll just i think i would okay let me try okay no since this is fixed this next cafe product is fixed so this has to be down a bit and this our background needs to come down the background needs to come down and touch okay yes this is it it's okay this is it is okay okay the top is showing a bit so you can just adjust that that's no problem you can adjust that all you need to do is to take this wood to the top just a bit yes this is it so um the next thing i did here was to do this okay yes this is it you get this you get the shadow um png i don't think the opacity was reduced okay yes, this is it i'll just place it here as you can see the size is 42 42 16 42 16 so i'll just place this here let's see if it's centralized okay you can centralize it to this and i'll move it to the back of the hold on what is wrong my pixel lab i'll move it here yes to the back of the main main um next cafe product i'll duplicate it increase the size position it here to this just here now i'll move it again to the back of the next cafe product sorry about this okay i think i've done too much okay this one was um so you duplicate the area um this shadow again increase the size increase the size the size of this is 76 um 76 28 so you position it to the you just uh, 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 what i'm doing is that you see the oh sorry about that the the edge of that this table that's where I'm, I'm i'm putting it so you can see this will just make it a little bit darker and it will also be at the back of the next cafe let me just duplicate the next one again and put it here also so i'm moving everything that i just did now to the back of the next cafe let me just position the back first and now move it to the sorry yes it can be here move it here and move it here okay this is it let me lock all layers now yes this is it let me lock all layers now so let's see what's next from the main um design i've done the background and the um wood so let me import this my um where is it okay yes, this is it is this yes this is it the size will be like this in your in the in the PLP file so just move this and position it so the way here yeah, this is okay let me see very well yes this is okay there's a little space yes this is okay 
if you want to you can actually yes this is okay i'll lock this layer right now so let's see what's next from our main image okay i've done this main thing so now is to do this create this this shape sorry this gradient okay it's locked why is it? it's not supposed to be locked okay yes let me just delete this one right now hold on where is it i've said multiple times i can actually create this um feed effect let me just go to gradients click on so this is it for the first side of the gradients it will be transparent let me just show you i did that initially it will be here so you click on this icon here and you can see whatever color is there just put it to this place let's be transparent move it all the way to the middle and select your next color select the black for this next color i click on ok so you get it like this so i used to blur this down area this down area so i'll just position it here so you can see this yes if you're okay with this we're well, duplicating twice i'll do it again i'll position this here i'll put it um i'll take it a bit to the top i think i reduce the opacity for this yes the opacity is 74 so the opacity for the one in the back is should be increased let me try okay the opacity in, for the one at the back should be 100 and the one at the front should be 74 so i'll just lock both layers right now i'll lock both layers right now and i'll let's go back to our main design and see what we need to um do so let's start with the um leaves the blur um blurry leaves png let's start with that first let's start with that first so where is it where is the main one here okay this let me know i um, delete this so i won't make a little bit mistake because they are actually rotated in a different way so let me start with this first let's see so for this let me see this okay this is it the size is 74 74 and i'm not sure this is rotated i'm not sure okay this 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 one is the way it is so all you need to do is to if you this um two black gradients which you just did they, are, they should be in the front the front 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 so everything they are doing now will be positioned at their back so you can see it's at the back of this okay let me just show you guys so this is it once you have positioned this here yes i think this is how it was from the main design yes at least it's touching okay you can move it all the way a bit inside if you want yes something like this let the leaf this leaf cover the edge of this wood that is um here you can see the wood yeah let this just use it to cover it just use to cover it yes this is okay this is okay yes this is it and for the next one um you duplicate duplicate this leaf again so let me see like i said i rotated that you know okay this is not positioned to the back like i said it's supposed to be at the back of black um this black stuff gradient so you can see that the next one the next one which is here was this one was rotated i'm sure yes i said it's rotated let me see the okay now yeah let me see this minus 28 so you just do that move that to minus 28 and the size for this is um 59 59 so once you've um done that so let me just do this okay so this is how it, it will be so this is it let the tip the how should i say this let this just position it like this let it still cover this wood area a bit so you can see from my main design at the top you can see this let it cover this main the main um design the this um coffee bag here and this nescafe product at the top so just do that let it cover that and move this to the back again let it be at the back of this blurry uh, sorry this um black feed gradient which you did so there's another leaf this tiny one here this tiny one here so i'll just move this to the front so this is it you just need to increase this thing comes out from the page but let me see the size for this so the size is 119 so this is it so i'll just move this all the way down here and i'll use look at this tip here this tip here i'll i like to cover this hold on this part here oh sorry but this is not locked this is not locked i like to touch this part here this part here so where is that um okay sorry about this okay this is it so i'll move it again let it just touch this part here let it touch this part here okay yes this is okay and i'll move it all the way to the back to the back of these two bigger two, two these two big leaves here so okay it's not actually at the back it's actually at the front of both of them it's at the front of both of them okay okay this is not okay let me see if i can move this okay i'll just keep this at this okay it's okay it's okay like that it's okay like that so i think this black um okay it's okay it's okay let's see if the opacity was reduced okay the opacity is still at 100 so i'll just look layer for that right now i'll log that layer so let's see what's next um what's next is our okay these coffee icons that are at the back the coffee icons that are sorry not icons um png that are the back so, um let's see where is it here yeah. okay okay hold on just hold on guys so i would um let me put this to the front the size oh, sorry the size for this is um 44 45 
so once you've done that just position it to this area let me look at my main image again okay just these two that are actually touching the top just these two yes it's like this yes it's like this so you just position it like this and position it to the back then bring it to the front of the main background oh, sorry yes yes this is it let me just position it here to the top to the front of the wood as well so i'll lock it and let me show you the next one which is here hold on where is it okay this is it to the front and the size for this is 9496 so you can see it's 9496 so once you've um, increased the size all the way there so you just drag this all the way here all the way here all the way here just like this position it back as well then bring it to the top of the top of this wood so oh, sorry my hand is sorry oh what's wrong with this what's wrong with my picture lab i'm um, sorry about that okay yes i've done that i've done that let's be at the front of the sorry at the back of the um at the front of the wood the main wood and the background that is at the back so you can actually see let me reduce the size for this okay this is not complete the birds um that are flying are also there so let me go down so you can see this you can see this the manipulation is actually not added just you can actually you can see mine okay yes it's when i did it that the thing um the these tiny leaves were actually showing because you can see they're not showing from this um page here they're not showing from here so let's go to our bed um png where are they i think they are still here okay yes okay i think I, I don't know if i might leave this for you guys but let me just exactly i can actually reposition this way once you can see where okay it's locked just let me do this the size for this is 14 9 you can reposition this the way you want 16 and the size for this is 16 10 so you can this one is 16 10 you can reposition this the way you want take it a little bit higher if you want it's not it's not bad it's okay so i'll just go back and um do this and okay i'm not sure if that's all let me go to my um okay text the text everyone using pixel lab is able to do this as well so once you've written your text it will be straight so this is what i did i just move this move this move this i was pushing it to the left so until, I, until it became like this okay and even if let me, in case i just, just select this once you've selected the text go to align click on this first this first stuff if you click on this you can see they are moving to the right you click on this all to the left so just do that for that so now um i added a you see the, the way this editing is is a bit different i use pscc to you know add this glowing effect you can see at the back to make it glow so i'm going to be showing you guys how i did that real quick so i'll see you guys right now in um pscc so we are here in pscc so this is it here this is the main um the my design here so this is it so let me just show you guys so you can see it you can see that you can see this you can see that so let me show you guys how i did this click on this icon here this one here click on it you click on photo library you select look for pixel lab since it's pixel lab you just did now where is it pixel lab and um, look for your design so okay i actually have two here so once you've done that once you've done that you get it like this so now you look for the lens flare the lens flare which we are going to be using for this oh sorry about this so i'll click on this plus icon i'll click on photo layers i'll click on photo library so i'll go to download your mine is in download so yours should be in download too since i'm going to be downloading the lens flare so you just do have to look for your lens here real quick so immediately click on that um lens flare you get it like this all you need to do is to you know increase the size let me just increase the size for this all right i'll click on this check mark icon here i'll go to fx at the top here and i'll click on the, um this this first option here i'll move this all the way to 40 okay let me leave at 48 all right i'll click on the check mark icon also i'll click on this layer down here i'll click on this other layer at the top i'll select my blend moon and i'll choose okay i didn't use screen i use overlay for where's overlay okay this is it here yeah. i use overlay for this so i would um hold on good okay i'll click on this icon at the top here i'll click on transform i'll increase this let it come out from the from the page so yes this is it that is is the glowing um area should position where it is originally where that sun um effect is originally so i'll just position that there and um i'll reduce the opacity for this this um lens flare i'll click on this icon again opacity i'll take um the opacity all the way to six sorry all the way to 60 the 61 60 so, so this is it you can see it here before and you after you can see it before and after so you can just do well to you know um edit re-edit it again if you want i just um did a tiny little touch on lightroom so you can just do well to you know edit it the way you want so you can see let's look at that look at the down area now for the um the what's it called this leaves the blurry leaves so you can see that you can see that you can see that so this is it
So you just save your file from here first. You click on done. You click on save. Let this load. So you click on this icon here. You click on there's a little bit difference. You click on the icon, this share icon here and down. You click on save to gallery. You click on you select PNG. You click on your main image which you want to save to gallery. So I click on OK. So once you've done that, it will automatically save to your gallery and you have that as that. So this is it guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you did kindly like, share and subscribe, turn on that post notification bell for more and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.